Lily, come here. back uh, so as you saw in the opening scenes um, we went up to the cottage and um, yeah there's birds fighting in the background here um, yeah we went up to the cottage and uh, we didn't go last year because Millie had her uh, crucial ligament surgery and we were not able to go up um, so we were able to go up this year and the, the pups loved it they absolutely loved it uh, they were in the water half the time um, yeah and yeah it was a, it was a great great trip and um, yeah so I went to Bath and Body Works and a couple of weeks ago uh, the fall candles started popping up they seem to be coming out earlier and earlier every year uh, pretty soon the fall candles will be coming out at Christmas so the rate this is going um, and uh, yeah so I got eight candles and some uh, pocket backs now I dropped by um, Bath and Body Works a couple of weeks ago and they did have um, some of their new releases on sale but it wasn't a very good sale price. Um, I did have a coupon so I did pick up um, freshly brewed coffee and um, I really wish I had picked up more than one. Um, so I thought okay I'll pick up one now because it's not the greatest price uh, and then the next candle sale I'll go back and get a couple of backups uh, because I think this is my only I call it Paris Cafe because it smells just like Paris Cafe oh yeah um eh, but uh yeah I went yesterday and they were sold out and I can't find them online anymore so um I wish I had known that um they're going to be sold out so quickly I would have picked up a couple more at the time but I have the one, so uh, next time it pops up, I'll just go and get it and uh, call it a day. So yeah, this one is very strong. Um, yeah, I can see why it's popular if you do like a really strong coffee scents. Um, and it's got a uh, very pretty label there. So um, yeah, I, I bought a few other things at the time. I just can't remember what I bought. Um, so today I went and I got two, four, six, eight, eight candles, I guess. Uh, now this first one, prickly pear sangria. So it has that Art Deco kind of uh, look to it. Um, this is prickly pear syrup, white wine, and freshly sliced fruit infusions. So I saw a pear and I saw sangria, and I thought, ooh, I wonder if this is sparkling pear riesling from their what was it called, the Cork and Wine Collection a few years ago. I love that one, and I have one left. Um, I think I have one left. There could be another one in my stash, but I think I only have one left. And this is from, I don't know, is it? And I think this is, I don't think this is from 2020. Something tells me that was earlier, but maybe it was 2020. Anyway, um, yeah, I love sparkling pear Riesling. Oh, it really does sm have that sort of wine kind of vibe to it, that pear. This one's always been very strong. Um, I really, really like sparkling pear Riesling. Uh, I've probably gone through like four or five of these. So I was hoping that uh, prickly pear sangria was the repackage of that. Uh, this one's this one smells different. Um, the biggest difference is the this um, how strong it is. Sparkling pear reason is very strong even on cold. This one is light on cold. 
and it's not as sweet. Um, it's just so light, it's really hard to tell. Um, but I, they do smell different to me. Now, once it's burning, maybe um, the scent notes will come out a bit more. But yeah, this one's just, it's so light. <laughs> And I thought it was just because I was getting nose blind in the store, but even getting home, it's, it's fairly late. So yeah, um, it, uh, it's definitely not as sweet. It doesn't have that real wine kind of uh, scent to it. Um, so yeah, hopefully when it's burning, uh, get a little more action out of it. Uh, now they did have three Halloween candles out. Um, they had a few accessories, but not a lot at this point. So the only uh, Halloween candle I picked up was uh, Pumpkin Carving. And this is also known as uh, Heirloom Pumpkin and Pumpkin Patch. Uh, this is my favorite pumpkin scent from Bath & Body Works. I really do like Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin also. Uh, but yeah, this Pumpkin Carving... Um, pumpkin patch, heirloom pumpkin. I really do like the best because it has, uh, it's it's spicy, but it's more like a very, very earthy clove cinnamon there mixed, um, very earthy. Yeah, this has always been my favorite. Um, yeah, some of these little pumpkins kind of are a little iridescent sheen to it there. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, there was a couple of like the Vampire Blood and Gowl Friends or something like that. Um, I think I do have a couple from last year, so I just picked up this one for now. And then, um, this one, uh, Midnight Cocktails. I really do like this one. I may just pick up another one. So this is uh, Cedarwood Clove and Tobacco. Um, it is, it's a masculine scent, but not clony. Uh, there's a, well, I guess it's a little, maybe slightly clony. There's a woodsiness about it. Tobacco is actually, um, it's probably like tobacco leaf is what they probably mean, which is, uh, it doesn't smell like cigarettes or cigars. It's just basically a earthy greenery scent, like tobacco leaf. Um, the, the clove, I sort of get that rich, um, uh, comforting kind of clove scent. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a repackage of something, um, and I just can't think of what it is. But yeah, I really do like it. It's a very warm, comforting, spicy kind of wood scent. This one in the Art Deco design also is Cranberry Orange Seltzer. And uh, Fresh Orange Sugared Cranberries and Fizzy seltzer water. Okay, well, fizzy seltzer water. I don't think has a smell to it. So, anyway, um, but I think they're just trying to invoke that kind of bubbly kind of note to it. But I get more. I think I get more orange than cranberry. Uh, orange is definitely in the forefront. But yeah, I do like those um, sort of richer um, orange scents for the the fall. And this is pumpkin clove. Yeah, I, I love clove scents. Uh, clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, and fresh pumpkin. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is more like a sort of pumpkin pie filling than the heirloom pumpkin or pumpkin carving or, or what have you. This has maybe a few more of those spices in it, but it's not overly bakery. Oh, I do love, I love clove scents. And then this is Spiced Blackberry Cider. And I absolutely love blackberry scents, especially transitioning into fall. And a lot of these, um, like the uh, orange seltzer and the, the um, pear sangria are good transition scents into the fall. Now, it's, it's a little bit light on cold. I do do definitely get a light blackberry kind of scent. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really wouldn't say I get a whole lot more. There's uh, simmered cider, uh, cinnamon. Uh, 
that might come out more when it's burning but I definitely get um, just it's a light blackberry scent it's not overly strong so hopefully it'll be somewhat strong when it's burning and this is cypress and cedar wood so this is fresh cypress mineral sea salt and cedar wood oh I, I do like this one there is uh, it's uh, it says cypress um i don't have any cypress trees around here to sniff but it kind of reminds me of like juniper uh, which is a kind of a brighter evergreen scent but it definitely is brighter it has that kind of mineral salt um mixed with that evergreen scent so it's bright it's light it's almost like an herbal it's almost like an herbal scent. Um, I, I really do like it. Uh, so that's cypress and cedar wood. It's ni really nice and bright, that one. Uh, this is blueberry pumpkin patch. Um, blueberries, ripe pumpkin, and autumn spice. So I get more blueberry than pumpkin. Um, I don't like on cold I don't get a lot of the spice it, it sort of reminds me of blueberry sugar which is basically like blueberries sprinkled with sugar but that one's a little bit brighter this one's more earthy so maybe that um, autumn spice just adds some earthiness to it and the, and the pumpkin might add a little earthiness to the blueberry but yeah I do I do love blueberry scents also and then um the birds are munching away on the bread over here um i did get a little pocket back and this is a little a little fox it's got his little tail wrapped around him <clears throat> I, lo I had a fox one and i lost it but this one lights up so i'll st oh i'll go through the pocket backs first so this is a uh, pear vanilla uh this is blackberries and basil uh, good old sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I, I always, I love sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I always like that one. This is Lakeside Life. So I, I tried the tester of this one and it's really nice. It's a very light, watery, aquatic scent. Uh, this is fresh coconut and cotton. And flannel. Yes, my little uh, Carrie jason in the pocket back here so this little fella lights up so i'll put my pear vanilla in here cram it into its head there and then okay it's probably better in the dark but it lights up the pocket back maybe i'll turn off maybe i'll turn off the light Anyway, it it, uh, it lights up the uh, the pocket back. Let me try another one here. Try the Lakeside Life one. Oh, that one's, uh, well, it's a little bit more. But yeah, it lights up the, um, the pocket back. So anyway, uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, I think maybe tomorrow I'll film my... Um, winters in Marshall's Hall because we were away at the cottage so long um god I think it's been like it was 10 days since I went to winters or Marshall's home since and yeah I, I needed my fix um so yeah I got a lot of uh Korean skincare products at a fabulous price so I'm going to do a separate video about that um and maybe upload it tomorrow so that's it. That is my uh, little haul here, and uh, I hope everyone's safe and sound where they are. I tell you, Canada is just getting hit hard. Uh, there's still hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fire fires throughout Canada. Two firefighters have actually passed away. Um, one of them was just a 19-year-old woman, uh, so young. And then uh, Nova Scotia, um, they're probably still recovering for hurricane um, uh, what was that hurricane called? Um, Fiona? Fiona. I knew it started with F. 
And then they got hit with wildfires. Um, now they had some massive flooding and there's four people missing, including two children. So yeah, it's just, it's just been um, a pretty crazy year this year in Canada. And uh, that's another load finish. Uh, came back from the cottage and literally I have like nine or 10 loads of laundry to do. So yeah, um, I think that's the fourth or fifth one I've, I've been working on. So anywho, um, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, stay safe with this crazy weather, stay cool and uh, everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.